Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today I just wanted to talk a bit about the arrival of Cardona in AEW. The man who was formerly known in the WWE as Zack Ryder. This is pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. AEW has picked up another pretty decent wrestler. And um, they've developed a pretty well-rounded roster. I do think they need a few more female stars, since, especially now, they're going to try for a female tag team tournament. So I wish they had more female stars to really set up a female tag team division even more so, because right now... I mean, who's the only real female tag team? The Nightmare Sisters? Like I said, I, I'm, I'm glad they're actually going and making a female tag belt. Because it's really about the only one I feel they needed. But... Yeah, I think they need to expand the women's division a bit. The men's division is pretty hefty, pretty robust. You've got a lot of good names in there. A lot of uh, fresh talent that's not as well known to some people. Some that's homegrown. And then, you know, you're pulling stars from NWA, MLW, WWE. You know, they, they pulled Brian Pillman Jr. from MLW. They pulled uh, Ricky Starks from the NWA. They pulled um, Cor Cordona from... WWE. So, I mean, the men's division is pretty well-rounded. You've got tag teams. You've got singles wrestlers. I wouldn't really mess with the men's division too much more. Because I think it's in pretty good shape. The women's division, you can grow. I wouldn't mind seeing that grow a little further. Especially if you're going to introduce the women's tag team titles. Um... I would look to bring in some other female ta uh, talent. Definitely. Um, I do find it interesting. There are hints dropping about of a potential modern four horsemen because Tully Blanchard has really turned around Sean Spears they give they're giving him this huge push now almost like a Ric Flair esque character 
to go after the titles. And then we also see Tully now scouting FTR. Which would be equal to, in the days of the original Horseman, Tully himself and Arn Anderson, because they were a tag team in within the Horseman. Which would indicate they would need one more good name to be the Oli of the group. Uh, so yeah, because in that case, you could almost say that, uh, Tully would be J.J. Dillon, so, uh, um, I'm kind of curious if that is indeed the direction they are heading, and I do enjoy this idea, because AEW seems to be approaching things in an intelligent manner, uh, manner. And not only do they have wrestlers and wrestling that appear appeals to the newer fans, doing a lot of the flips, the tope suicidas, dives and everything, but you also have some of the old school mat wrestlers. So, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I think they're doing a wonderful job, and if they do bring out a new Four Horsemen, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Flair and Double A were the longest lasting members of the Horsemen. With Oli being one of the earliest to kind of drop from the group. And then Tully kind of disappeared. But it's almost always been Flair and Double A Arn Anderson. So right now, the way they're kind of building things, like I said, Sean Spears kind of feels to me like he would either be a Ric Flair or an Ole Anderson. One of just the big names in the group. And uh, FTR would be your Double A and Tully Blanchards, which was the tag team. Now, if they make Sean Spears and Ole Anderson, that means they still have to look for an, a uh, Ric Flair. Somebody to really push for world titles. Because if you followed the old school shows with the horsemen they held numerous titles often multiple at the same time you know world tag team titles uh, world heavyweight championship uh, tv titles the u.s title so it would be an interesting Thing, if that's definitely what they're considering. And I hope they do it right. The horsemen need to be one of these groups that they can't just lose at any old time. It has to really... 
appear to frustrate some people because even when it seems like they're going to lose, they hold on to that title. So, yeah. But, I haven't been watching too much NWA recently because so where it's been the pandemic, they haven't really had power on in a while that I've seen. I haven't checked in a bit, but it's just been these other shows. Um... I've, all I've been watching of Ring of Honor is like uh, highlight images, pretty much the same with WWE old footage and stuff. And I have to say, I enjoyed CM Punk when he first entered the WWE in the then WWE ECW brand, which was a joke. It wasn't worth anything, but I was like, this guy's going to be pretty good. He can talk, he can wrestle. I like him. And looking back on some of his other stuff from Ring of Honor. He's good. He's very good. And then I even watched some of his later clips, which are now old clips from WWE, of him with the cult of personality. As his entrance music. So, yeah. I, I enjoy CM Punk. I think he's pretty good. I wish he would kind of come back to wrestling. But, it is what it is. Also, Samoa Joe, watching some of his old footage as well. And you just forget how good this guy is. But yes, um, I watched um, Sammy Guevara is back in AEW. Mostly I've been keeping up with AEW. Again, I don't have TNT. So it's mostly been through Dark and then other clips and stuff. And then watching stuff like uh, Being the Elite. And uh, watching Sammy's, Sammy Guevara's uh, vlogs and... So, yeah. Um, but Sam, Sammy Guevara is another one I think is a really good wrestler. He's got a very, very bright future. There's a lot of great... Factions right now that are being formed. You, of course, have the inner circle Jericho, Guevara, Santana, Ortiz, uh, Hager. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Oh no, 
I can't think of anybody else. I probably am, but I can't remember right now. You have the Nightmare Family, Cody, Dustin, uh, QT Marshall, Brandy, and the Bunny. I can't remember what her other actual wrestling name is. And like I said, we may have a potential Four Horsemen rebirth. So it's interesting. But... The last thing I kind of want to speak on... And this is mainly from AEW Dark. Brandon Cutler and Peter Avalon. And Leva Bates. I love this group. It is so good. And you can't help but like them. They are doing this group wonderfully. And I really want to see Peter and Brandon get their first win. They, they've been like the last people without a win. And they were going head to head and everything. They still couldn't eke out wins. And finally they've tag teamed. And they're going to try the tag team division. So far, they've been winless, but they've been up some against some pretty good teams. But you can see they are slowly gelling. They're, they're coming together. And I hope, I hope they get their first win. I can't wait until they do. That That will be enjoyable. But, I guess that's all I really want to talk about. Um, as always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, later.